Move. Move. Hey guys, I've seen a lot of forum threads over the years asking the same thing and people ask me a lot because I've done this many times myself. I travel a lot to, to, to events and I fly a lot and um, people ask me what I do with my computer when I take my computer on a plane. Well, I take it apart and bring this carry on. Uh, all I take with me from my computer is this bag, a nice little simple bag you can get for a buck at Sobeys and I'll show you how I pack it in. First up. I got the Razor's Destructor mouse pad, it comes with this hard case and even if I wasn't using this mouse pad I would take it with me because they're useful, you can put CDs and all that stuff in there too and the main reason why I, I take it is because this bag is nice and flimsy if you don't have your boxes or for your parts um, it will just hang in this big bag it's just nice to have some kind of re reinforcements so I put that in the back and it's um, it's like an impact wall so if you hit the side of it it's, uh, your motherboard or whatever will be, will be safe Next up is my motherboard. Now now I take my motherboard in the box. I keep my motherboard box. Normally I never used to do that. So this is how I do my motherboard. Now I've got the mouse pad protecting the, uh, the back of the case. Or the, the, the bag. And I put my motherboard. I normally put my motherboard right in there. So like I said before, any kind of impact will be absorbed by the mouse pad and not hit, hit your motherboard. However, these days I've been smarter. I keep my motherboard boxes. That's very good. And uh, keep them. Put my motherboard in there. And stuff your RAM on your motherboard. To keep, you keep your RAM on your motherboard. And you're good. So, close that up. Throw that in the bag. Get good to go with that. If you go to the lands a lot, it's nice to keep all your boxes and uh, you don't have any kind of problems like that. Also, I keep my, my video card boxes. This uh, this Asus video card box is pretty huge. It's well, not that big, but it's big enough to hold anything I need. So I keep this for lands. So basically, what I'll do, I'll take a video card, put it in there, take my hard drive. This is something you definitely don't want to put uh, unless it's on a plane, unless it's on carry on. I'll put that inside here. You get a headset. Got my headset in there. Put it in the corner. Take a mouse. Got a plastic bag. It's a backup mouse. Stuff right in there. And this box is good enough where I can put, I can probably put another hard drive, another video card, and probably another headset in here if I wanted to. Nice little box and close that up. All my important parts are in here. And stuff that in there too. Now if you want to carry your CDs you can stuff that anywhere. You can put that in your mouse pad case. You can put that in any of these boxes or including like this bag has little pockets right here you can put it into so that's generally what I do. Put your Windows CDs, your drivers, all that. Also, I, I do it sometimes, usually I don't think about it, but I'll take my keyboard, I'll put it in there as well, then protect it. But normally when I put my keyboard, I'll wrap it in something, but whatever. This time, I'm just going to show you how I do it. There's definitely cords in there. And there you go, I'll walk on the plane just like this. Usually with my monitor under my arm too, so you don't break that as well. I've never once had a problem with this method. Um, the only thing you got to remember when you take your computer part, take your screws with you because I'm going to insert a picture a picture right here of what my computer looks like when I don't have my screws with me. The computer looked like a piece of crap, but it worked fine and my parts came, you know, came safely in here. Um, I ha I've had the customs guys or whatever go through my parts so they'll take everything out and look at it, but they put it right back. No problem at all. So there you have it. This is how I take my computer on the plane.